Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I was watching the other day a YouTube video by Mick Golf, who was talking about bigger grips and how they can give you better distance and better accuracy. Uh, he was looking at the Jumbo Max grips. And that got me thinking, you know what? I wanna try a similar kind of video, but a little different. We're gonna use sort of the standard sizes of grips that you can find, not the extremes, but sort of the ones you can find readily available everywhere. So I've got four different grips here. I've got this blue guy who is standard, this green one, which is actually undersized, 164th under standard, a little smaller, this gray one, which is midsize, 132nd over standard, and then this black one here, this is 116th over, this is jumbo. So four different grip sizes. I'm gonna take each of these grips. I'm gonna put them on the exact same golf club. We're gonna hit the exact same golf club with all these grips. So I'm gonna use my TaylorMade 300 mini driver for all of this testing. And I'm gonna hit five balls with each of these four grips on GC Quad, and we're just gonna track and see what kind of distance, what kind of dispersion that I get with each of these grips. Now, I think we all have some preconceived notions about what happens, I know I do, what happens if a grip is quote unquote too small or too big. So we're gonna see, you know, are those, are those rules that I sort of use and adhere to, do they actually turn out to be true when I'm actually hitting a golf ball? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start off with standard. This is basically what I play in all my clubs. Then we're gonna try the green guy, undersized. Then we're gonna move into midsize and we'll wrap it up with the jumbo. We'll see what we get. I've got GC Quad all set up and the shot tracker matching my grip color, so we should have a blue shot tracker for these. Oh, that was the low, 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 low. Okay, last one was not too bad. Four of the five, pretty good. One of them, terrible, but that's our starting set with the standard size grip. Okay, next up we've got the green 164th under standard. So a little bit smaller than the previous grip. As far as the general rules go when it comes to grip fitting, this is sort of the worst uh, setup you can have is a grip that's too small. That's always been my opinion at least because it can lead to both left misses and right misses because it's so small, you got a lot of tension in your hands, and sometimes you'll flip it, sometimes you'll hang it open, and it can be a mess. But let's see what happens. GC Quad, green shot tracer, let's see what we get. <laughs> definitely can feel it, definitely feels small. Let's uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it's high. Seems better. Peeling off a little bit. Let's see if it has the distance. Pretty similar to the last one. Okay, next up, 
the gray midsize grip, 1 32nd over standard. The general rule is if a grip gets too big, the miss is usually going to be to the right, if you're a right-handed golfer at least. Essentially, it's a little bit too big, it's hard to turn your wrists over, you're going to leave the face open, and you're going to leave it out to the right, so a lot of sort of high right shots. So that's the rule. Let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> that, was, that was about two feet off the ground, I think, the entire time. Uh, hung it out a little bit. Well, a little more hooky, a little more off the toe. Okay, last up, the Jumbo, 1 16th over standard. Well, if midsize was good, maybe Jumbo will be even better. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, this definitely feels a little different where the midsize still felt relatively, uh, inconspicuous, let's call it. This jumbo feels like I'm swinging a tennis racket. So we will see what happens here. Again, if a grip is too big, the rule is usually that you're going to miss it to the right. Well, that was way off the toe. That was pretty good right there. I like that. Oh, we lost it. That was the miss I was worried about. Uh, losing it to the right again. To the right again. Yeah, started right, kept going right. Definitely feel like this jumbo, I'm having a hard time turning the club over. It definitely, I think, requires a lot more conscious effort on your part to actually turn those hands over because otherwise they've been pretty far right. Okay, tried four different grip sizes. We had undersized, standard, midsize, and jumbo. And in this case, it looks like the rules, well, they turned out to be true because the worst of the bunch definitely was this undersized grip. I had lower distance numbers, was way less accurate, and it just did not feel comfortable for me. Next up, I would have to go the jumbo. Now I did have one of the longest shots that was also very straight with the jumbo, but the majority of them were very high, right, just block, push, miss the fairway, miss the hole in some cases completely. So this grip, again, just felt too big, too awkward, and didn't feel like I could really get my hands turned over through the ball. Now these, at the very end, I would say is pretty close between the midsize and the standard. I think the slight nod goes to the standard, especially if we pull out that one outlier, just terrible shot I hit with the standard. The rest of the bunch were all very consistent. If we look at all five and both, well, then it gets a little bit closer. I think I was probably slightly more accurate overall with the midsize, but I did have better overall distance with the standard. Okay, final takeaway from this, definitely you want to try out different grip sizes. And I'm not just talking about going into the local golf shop and holding a grip and just sort of holding it and wiggling it around in your hand a little bit. You want to actually put that grip, actually get that grip on a golf club and swing it, hit some balls and see what kind of results you get. We can do that here at Elite Fit Golf, but definitely makes a huge difference. Just holding it in your hand and swinging it and hitting balls 
two different things. So try out some different grips, figure out what size gives you the best distance, the best accuracy, and the most consistency. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please go down below, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos, and we will see you on the next video. Take care.